So this is a first. We are here at the Ready program, which I have never been to, didn't even know was up here. And uh, we are also, for the first time, going to invade lunch. So yeah. this will be neat uh, to see what they're cooking up. And literally, the kids are cooking it and serving it, which is very, very cool and all right. part of the Teacher of the Month nomination. So let's go do this. Rick Winkle, our own representative here, created the Safe Schools Act. Okay. And so we take students that um, are on basically their last leg in school, if they've been expelled from their home school okay. or administratively placed. Before, in the old days, those students were expelled to the streets. Now, since the Regional Safe Schools Act, it's a second chance for oh. students. So a lot of our students are, have been expelled from their home schools or administratively placed, which they've acted up in their at their mm -hmm. home school, but they didn't take them to expulsion. Okay. And and they can come here for school. We have students here that have also can't function in a large classroom mm -hmm. setting. Because mm -hmm. we know that most of our yeah. school classrooms are 25 to 30 yeah. students, and some of those students just can't function okay. that way. So we'll, we'll take those students with us here too. Okay, okay. Um, okay. We service every public school in Champaign and Ford counties. Okay. So we work with 17 school districts, okay. not just Champaign and Urbana students, but I have students yeah. from Gibson City, Tolono, St. Okay. Joe, Paxton, Rantoul. Wow, what a program. Yeah. That's really neat. And can you tell us a little bit about Mr. Dewhurst and just um, what he's done here for the program? Uh, Mr. Dewhurst has been with us now for 13, 14 years. Okay. Very long time. He started as an art teacher, um, so he has built an art program that we didn't okay. have because we found that you know students mm -hmm. need more hands-on things. Sure. And then it's expanded to the culinary arts. Oh. So we have a culinary arts okay. program also that Mr. Dewhurst is involved with and, and heads up. And so he is responsible for cooking breakfast in the morning, so all our students get a hot breakfast. And then he um, cooks all the lunches. Okay. So our, our high school, yeah, our high school students can take a culinary arts credit okay. through him to earn a high school credit. But they help Mr. Dewhurst then plan the menu, cook what's going to be cooked for that day. Okay. Um, so he's really taken over that and, and made that culinary arts program something that kids want to be in. Everybody's attention for just a second. What is this? Right here. Right here. Hi. 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 I'm Thomas. Hello. Hello. Let's come right here. You must be Mr. Guys, listen up real quick. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, we've heard a lot about We have. Quite a lot here, actually. Yes. So. Guys, they need to hear. Yeah, I guess so. You good? Okay. All right. Okay. So, uh, we are Tim and Sarah from Mix 94.5. This is Rick Ridings from Rick Ridings of uh, Ford Monticello. And we are here because you are our Teacher of the Month this month. Um, so I'm just going to read a little bit of the nomination that we got at our website. It's from uh, Mr. Hart. Uh, Guys, listen up. But uh, basically what he wrote is that not only are you wearing an apron because you do the, the foods class, is that right? Is that what we call it? The foods yeah. class? Okay. Not only do you do that here, but you also teach art? That's yes. right. Okay. And he says that while you're a talented artist yourself, I'm jealous, uh, you have the innate ability to pass on your passion for art to, to your students, the ability to make students feel successful, even if a student is not the most gifted of artists. Hi. <laughs> Uh, also, uh, with the foods program, Mr. Hart says that uh, he really enjoys seeing how the students take pride in, in everything that you guys do in here, and it was very, very clear to us uh, that you are very deserving to be our Teacher of the Month this month, so congratulations! Well, thank you. Yeah. Hamburgers and tater tots. Awesome. Yes, awesome. I love tater tots. I'm staying. Tots. I'm awesome. definitely staying. Um, so as part of uh, the Teacher of the Month, we have a framed nomination for you from Mr. Hart. Uh, we've also got a gift bag full of goodies. That. Lots of good stuff. Uh, a t-shirt with this very cool plaque from friends over at Trophy Time. You're welcome. And perhaps the, the the biggest prize of all. Yeah. The big check. Literally. Hey, yes. I've never got a big check. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Congratulations. I appreciate it. Thank you.
This, this is way more cameras than we're used to. I know, yeah. Usually it's littler kids that don't have phones, so this is... Working in this setting is challenging, and I, I wanted to see him rewarded for for his perseverance. And just he just has a, a great ability to to make every kid feel important. Um, I think if you asked, if you did a poll of, of students, you know, who's your favorite teacher? I think a lot would say Mr. Dewhurst. Uh, he just he has a, just a fantastic personality. He's just kind of cut out for this job. Mm -hmm. What would you say the, his impact is uh, with the students? Because as they said in the nomination, you know, it's, uh, bringing out the the expressiveness, uh, the, the artistic abilities. Yeah, I mean, I think it's more than just like the art and the foods class. I mean, it just makes every kid feel important. And just has an ability to connect with them. I mean, just even beyond the art. I mean, I think Mr. Dewhurst can teach any class and make the kids feel important. Just it's just his personality. And your rooms are right next to each other. Mm-hmm. And have yep. been for how long? For eleven years. We've worked Next week, uh, okay. you teach? I teach history. Okay. Yeah. It's quite a difference between oh, yeah. Yeah. one door down and it's totally different. So. Right, yeah, the kids tend to hate history, but they, uh, they, that's another thing that Mr. Dewhurst has going for him is he's got some hands-on stuff and the kids really, they kind of use his class as an outlet, I think, for the rest of the day too. So. Well, I've been lucky to have the opportunity to work here at the Ready Program for the last 14 years. Um, we serve Champaign and Fort Counties as an alternative for students that have been suspended or expelled from their home school district. Um, I've had the unique opportunity to be able to teach art classes while at the same time building a foods program. Um, foods class cooks and prepares all the breakfasts and lunches that we serve at the school. So that's been a real challenge. You can imagine it's a lot of day-to-day -day work, but we found that busy hands uh, bring out the best in students, so I've been very fortunate to, to have this opportunity to work with students. At the end of a week, when you know, you're looking back on it, what makes you think to yourself, wow, we did it this week, this is, this is the good stuff, what is the good stuff? It doesn't always happen, but occasionally we'll have students who return after they've been transitioned back to their home school district or after they've graduated and they'll come and say that something that they learned in foods class stuck with them or some project that they did in art class you know is a, is a memory a positive memory that they have from school and a lot of these kids have dealt with uh, a lot of negative authority in their lives so to be the chance to show them what positive caring authority looks like is is what it's all about for me so that was it our latest yeah. teacher of the month how about mr Duber? that was awesome that was Right. right. What, a, what a teach, what an individual. All of these books with those kids here. And right. This is something that, uh, the culinary arts that he's doing. I know. Built it from the ground up. It's amazing. And your teacher could be our next teacher of the month. Get those nominations in at mix945.com. Big thanks to Rick. Always a pleasure to see you yes. each and every month. I enjoy it. I enjoy yeah. this a lot.